Welcome to Vintage Coin App Restorations and our latest project. What we have here is a second generation Evans 10 Strike. The year is somewhere about 1947. What you're looking at is an original um, panel. The left and right sides of the machine are original. They have been sanded down and we have repainted uh, the original scheme on here. I'll try to walk around here. Though the head we did completely cover with a uh, new skin, uh, and it's not veneer, but a full uh, quarter inch piece of uh, plywood which we bend, just like they did. Let's walk around in the back real quick. Not that it's anything special, but the back is painted black lacquer, top to bottom. The front panel is a replacement panel. It was just a little too beat up, basically from people walking up to it, kicking it, and um, you know, trying to get in there with screwdrivers to get to change the change box. So uh, we had to get that all cleaned up. Let's take a quick walk on the left side of the unit. All the metal has been nickel plated, except for the two left and right rails of the machine, which uh, you see are stainless steel. And those are original. We do have a blemish up on the top left. You see a little bit of rippling. Let's get a little closer to it. You'll see a little rippling right there on the on the left there, and uh, it's probably due to at one time the glass might have broke there. So um, the weight of the glass just kind of bent it in, but we, uh, we polished it and got it back to a pretty good form right now. Let's look up at the man real close. The center part of this play field had to be replaced and uh, you can see that by the V that we put in the rear by the pins and the V in the front. The left and right side of the play field also have been replaced. Let's take a quick look in the back of the machine if we can. Hold my light here for a moment. Now one of the neat uh, features of this particular second generation Evans 10 Strike, the first generation was a uh, almost identical machine. The left and right panels had a, uh, a silhouette of a uh, man bowling. This one has the green and yellow stripes. But the first generation, basically that machine, you had your bowling and if you... Um, got a strike you got two extra balls if you got a spare you got a single extra turn and you got to you know a certain amount of points and that's how you could you know tell the clerk yes I won and you know uh, you could possibly get paid out now in this machine we have something a little bit different At the beginning of each game you have this uh, sign here that says average score the machine as it starts up it rotates 
and it randomly gives a score of um, somewhere in the hundreds, I would say 100 to 165. And that's kind of your goal to um, actually try to get. And if you do get to that goal, what you end up getting, and on the left here you can't see, you actually get a free game. And there you can go to the clerk and say, I won a free game. The clerk would look. He would look in the window, of course, to make sure you have nickel inside there. And he would also make sure the game's not tilted. And and uh, also, you couldn't fake it because you'd actually have like a 1 or a 2, or I, I think it goes up to at least 20 of possible free games that you could win. And you either um, tell the clerk, and he would pay you, you know, if it's 8, 8 times 5 because it was a nickel per game, you know, you could win 40 cents or you could just enjoy the game and push your uh, coin mech in and it would actually give you a free game and it would subtract it, you know, from 8, 7, 6 and so on as you go down. So this was in their second generation, they thought to make it a little more of a gambling machine, basic, basically. And let me see if I can coin it up for you. We're not on a level surface, but there we go. All right, what you're seeing here is like I told you, as uh, for this game, it just showed us a score of, I'm not sure if you can see that, if I, there you go, 116. That is the number that you want to get, 116. And if you were to get that, you would get a free game. As we have it sit here, as we've been testing the machine out, you can see, if I pull the light away, we have 13 free games. And if I were to push in my coin mech right again one more time, you can see there we have it. We are at 12 free games. Here you have it. And we can give it a try. Like I said, we're on a uneven surface. I'm going to try to bowl at the same time here. Your frames light up and, and the pins that you actually hit light up. Uh, let's take a quick look. We have that up on top. There they coordinate. After your second one here, let's do another one. your score in the window. Uh, second frame. Let's try it again. Oh, I think I tilted it. Oh, no, I didn't. Yeah, our ball is sitting a little bit too far on the left here. So uh, here you have it. If you're interested in a Evans 10 strike or if you have one for sale, please contact us. We're located in Chicago, Illinois. Our phone number is area code 630-624-7466. Thanks for watching and make sure to subscribe to our videos so you can see all the new machines coming to the warehouse. And if you have time in November, uh, you can come and play this game. Uh, we will be at the Chicagoland Coin Op Show this November 15th, 16th, and 17th. We are booths K13, 14, 15, and 16. Hope to see you guys there. Thanks for watching.